Hi there, this is David and welcome to our review of the Disgaea 6 Defiance of Destiny demo, released for the PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, and PC. As many of you are aware, I'm a huge fan of tactical turn-based JRPGs. However, for whatever reason, the Disgaea series never really captured my interest. I first played it back on the PS2, and I just found it to be very anime and very juvenile, rather than the more politically minded, adult-focused strategy games that I was more used to. So while I have dabbled in the series, and have beaten the first two games, I wouldn't exactly bill myself as a super fan. However, I can appreciate a good game, and I'm always up to see what a legacy franchise has in store for us. Starring Zombie Zed and his faithful companion Cerberus residing in the underworld, you're in for some more wacky, zany, anti-hero antics that you've come to love and expect from the series. It's been over a decade since I've played one of these games, but I can tell you right now that it's like coming back to an old friend. If you've played one, then you're going to feel right at home here. Everything that you expect to be there is there, from bribing senators, to creating job classes, to upgrading skills, to quests, to throwing your characters about at the field, and even geopanels. It's all there for you to tinker around with. The game follows a pretty formulaic layout consisting of fully English voice acted visual novel type cutscenes, followed by shopping and party setup in the hub netherworld region, and then finally going into battle. Rinse and repeat, and then you've got the entirety of the game. Some of the cutscenes made me chuckle and smile, but the vast, vast majority were just eye-rollingly stupid, with infantile humor, like fart jokes and cursing for no reason, and then just off-the-wall garbage that I would expect to see like on a Saturday morning cartoon or something. However, that's just me, and I could see myself enjoying the dialogue if I was like 13 or 14 years old, but at 40, my eyes just about rolled out of my head instead. The graphics themselves aren't bad per se, but I wouldn't call them good either, especially in battle. They look kind of cheap, kind of cell phony, and especially during the tack animations, they just kind of look ugly. I really feel like they could do so much better. I mean, it's cartoony and cute, but at the same time, I'm just not a fan of the style. I guess I would just wish that it was prettier or more detailed, and it just seems so bare bones. And like I've said, if you've played one Disgaea, you've played them all. The battle system is one and the same. They take place on a grid, and you take turns smacking the crap out of your enemies for damages in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of points. The numbers are so high and ridiculous that they've really just lost all meaning. So the majority of the fun comes in with your strategy, gaining up skill levels and defeating the monsters so that you can complete quests, unlock more job classes, and make your party stronger. This being more the same could be good or bad depending on your viewpoint, but to me, it was just kind of like JRPG comfort food. It was simple, quick, very easy to learn, and just fun. The battle system is also really customizable insofar as you can set an auto battle to do all the fighting for you, although the AI is kind of brainless. They're not going to be throwing characters to get closer to the enemies, they're not going to be using their best skills, and they're certainly not going to do any sort of healing either. They're just going to be kind of mindlessly running around and bashing. And that can be great for grinding, but not especially good for storyline battles. You can also toggle animations on and off, and speed up the battle if you see fit, and I love a good speed up function. The story is just about as crazy as you would expect, too. There's a god of destruction set out to destroy the world, and Zed is set off to defeat him. We don't really know why, but it has something to do with his little sister. However, Zed has died of the god of destruction countless times, only to be reincarnated over and over and over again. And upon his final defeat to the god of destruction, he's actually reincarnated into the human world, where he meets up with the king, and then he fights the previous hero of humanity, who isn't exactly heroic. He's more interested in living a life of luxury financed by the king instead. And it's really here, at this point, in the human world, that the game gets going and the humor ramps up a notch. While I did find myself groaning at a lot of the inanely infantile dialogue, the more I got into it, the more I bought into the story and the world. And I actually found myself having a whole lot of fun with this title, and the demo lasted me about an hour and a half so you really do get a chance to sink your teeth into it and make an informed decision on whether or not you want to invest any further time. Personally, I'm looking forward to the release of the full game on June 28th. And with that, that's it for my review of Disguise 6 Defiance of Destiny. If you like this video or want to do here on the channel, please consider supporting me over on Patreon for exclusive videos and early access to my content, 
heading on over to Twitch for some streaming fun, or coming over to my Discord to chat and hang out. The links to them all can be found in the video description. This has been David, and if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.